Dozik is from Yo Chicago. It's a sleepy Sunday morning in Winnetka. I'm looking at Christ Church at the corner of Maple and Elm, I think. Maple and Oak. Panning down Maple Street and looking across at the Village Green. What am I doing here? I'm out chasing memories. Laura's memories. Laura lived here from 1976 to 1979 when she was a grade schooler going to Greeley School. She played in the playground that you see across the way. She remembers this as a park, not as the village square that was donated to the village by Charles Peck in 1869 when it was incorporated. But it was a park if you were a little girl back then. One of the truly wonderful things about Chicago's North Shore is just how little things change over time. As I walk down Maple Street, I can't see it through the eyes of a little girl quite, but I know that what I'm seeing is what Laura would have seen 30 some years ago. Not much different from what the neighbors would have seen 50, 60, 70, even 80 years ago. You're seeing through the leaves is 508 Maple. It's Laura's home. The home where she spent what she now recalls as the happiest days of her lives, her life. I'm hoping that she has happier days to come. She wrote me a note on YouTube sharing some of her memories. What a lovely, lovely home. Across the way of the Village Green with a memorial to Winnetka's dead who died preserving our freedom in various wars around the world. Laura remembers that her neighbors lived in a big white house and that would probably be the home that I'm approaching up on the corner here. with this spectacular porch. Wrap around, looking out on the village green. This is a view looking south at the big white house from Laura's memories. And again, looking out across the village green. This is what is recalled as a hill. And I guess it is a hill if you're a grade schooler. And if you're a Chicagoan from the North Shore where we really don't do hills very much. Laura remembers passing an institute for the blind, and of course what she remembers is the famous Hadley School for the Blind. She walked up the hill to what was then the A&P, and the A&P is gone, and there's more of a gourmet mid-sized supermarket in its place. Further west along Elm Street, just past the Hadley School, and a small commercial strip. Laura remembers.
remember his uh, pizza parlor that served a drink called the Green River. The Green River is still a North Shore favorite among the young ladies that Kind of thing that drives parents crazy. The businesses may have changed in the last 30 years, but the scene is going to be intensely familiar to anyone who was here 30 years ago. Physically, little if anything has changed. And that's the magic of Chicago's North Shore. Aura, thanks for the memories.